Well, guess what time it is? <laughs> 1 04 p.m. <laughs> Vlogmas day one. I cannot believe we are here. I know. I feel like we just finished Vlogmas 2022 and here we are already. Yeah, this is crazy. But hey, how about that new intro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we are just, I don't know. I'm really excited about this year. Yeah, it's going to be a good year. Good so vibes. We're starting a little bit early, which is exactly what we did last year. So this is December 1st, but we're kind of, this is a week before. Or day before. one. It is not yeah. December 1st right now where in our world. It's, just, it's November 18th, but we're leaving. And so we're doing like a week of stuff, but we're doing a lot of Christmassy stuff this week. So yeah. I'm really excited to have this. Me too. This is day one of Vlogmas. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's not even Thanksgiving the day we're filming this, but um, tomorrow's video, day two, you will see, is back to real time. So yes, like yeah, from then on, it'll be the real Back time, to yeah. December. Isn't that a song? Yeah, but we're about to go see Frozen the musical. <laughs> That's why we're dressed up. You think we dressed up for this occasion? No, we are... I we love be, you guys, but you know, come on. Not that much. I want to be. <laughs> I wish I dressed like this all the time. Fraser Crane um, style. Yeah, Fraser. We were just talking about how Fraser Crane is always dressed so nice. He is. He, <laughs> That's he who is. I want to be. When so I'm, dapper. Yeah, but we are doing that. We're doing Christmas at the zoo in a couple days, so mm -hmm. a lot of fun Christmassy stuff here yeah. on day one. We're excited. So Genevieve is going with us to Frozen right now. Mm -hmm. She is dressed as Elsa. She's feeling the vibe. She's yeah. real excited. So we need to go. And I'm hungry. So we're gonna have to. Yeah, see. we got to stop. Some Either stop somewhere or, or like see what concessions they have. I'm going to see if I can Google it on the yeah. way. Anyway, so that's the hacks. Let's go. Yay! Vlogmas 2023. I can't. Let's go. Let's do this. Look who's here coming in early this year on Vlogmas Day 1. Yeah. Blue yeah. Nana. We, uh, With I was actually going to. Uh, obviously. <laughs> no, I was going to make chicken pot pie tonight. Yes. And it's my mom's recipe. And so I told her, I was like, hey, <laughs> while you're here, she's watching Felicity. Well, they do If something. you are just feeling inclined, you could make the chicken pot pie because you'll make it better than I do. Oh, I wouldn't make it any better. No. But the, yes. So that when you get home, it'll be ready. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> All right. We made it. We're going to our seats. <laughs> to the cutting board huh I could say it again um, yeah I've got carrots cooking already well they're starting to cook I'm gonna cut up the potatoes and got the chicken the peas flour gonna make a roux got butter all right all right we are home and we have chicken pot pie my mom used, uh, was it phyllo dough on the top? Because that's what we had. Yeah, what you had. yeah, and so that worked out really well. No, well, did we go with that or puff pastry? Puff pastry. Puff pastry, okay. that's what it is. Yeah. Um, but then we have the chicken pot pies. <laughs> so good. Cannot wait. Yeah, okay. So, so at the show, we got a couple things. Genevieve got Elsa gloves, I think we showed. Look at this cute mug. Oh. It says, first of all, on the inside, it says, for the first time in forever, frozen. And it kind of, Benita was saying it kind of looks Norwegian, which I agree. And on the bottom, it says, from the town of Arendelle, frozen. It is so cute. <laughs> that is very cute. I kind cute. of pictured it more as like a wintry, like we were talking about like a yeah. holiday mug. It's not really as wintry as I thought, but I'm like, this is just a use whenever. Yeah, I I love it. it actually kind of matches your outfit too. That's funny. Ah. <laughs> and then I picked up this shirt here and it's like a waffle weave, kind of like Henley kind of shirt. And it says reindeer are better than people. Uh, that makes me laugh. The, the, <laughs> the, the person who was doing this, uh, on stage, it was like a big puppet. Has to have the world's strongest like calves and quads, because like the way that this costume is made, it's like a giant puppet, and it was crazy. But anyway, I, all the, for lack of a better term, cast members in the lobby were all wearing basically this, and I was like, I need that, and they were selling it. Oh, hello, welcome to Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, Jane Polly. I'm Jane Polly. Um, we were just talking about though. Jane Polly went to the same high school I went to. Mm -hmm. She's from India. Many years before. <laughs> so we're making avocado toast. Did we already say we're watching Number Blocks, which is our favorite, well, the kids are, their favorite show slash really ours because it's highly educational. Anyway, um, almost too much so, and I can't believe she likes it. <laughs> okay, avocado toast. So we've got Tyler's favorite store-bought bread, mm. the Pepperidge Farm, like the hearty white. That's my like second. The butter bread. They have the butter bread. That's where it's at. It's Maybe so not the good. healthiest, but it is really good. But also Tyler makes a lot of his homemade bread, so we yeah. figure it balances out. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we love bread in this household. Okay, so I'm just gonna, we like runny. I like mine. Runny, oh yeah. Yours runny yep. for the avocado toast. So I'm gonna do that. We do them separate and we lit them and it usually works, knock on wood, pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then the Costco avocado mash, avocado is the best. It's yep. so easy. You don't have to worry about it going bad, you know, as quickly as an avocado does. Mm -hmm. um, 
Although November 22nd, we need to use the rest of these. About, yeah. Felicity loves these yeah. too. So she's killing some um, like little nons with this. A little right salt, now. little pepper. I put a little herbs of Provence on mine. Yeah, I a little love tomato. tomato yeah. It. Red onion, if we have it, I sometimes will throw on that. But it's like, a lot of restaurants put red onion yeah. and it's really good. So but good. I don't think we have any. So we'll show mm -hmm. you the finished product. It's going to be delicious. And there we have it. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, all right, let's dig in. It's a big weekend for us. It's a huge weekend, yeah. We're doing way more than I feel like we normally do. Which oh, is great. we definitely are. So we're on our way to a Pacers game. One of huh. our dearest, best, oldest friends is turning 30 today. So we're going... What uh, an old man. <laughs> this is a 34-year-old. A group of us have, uh, well, his wife rented out a, uh, a suite for us, which is really cool. Well, we like and then split it up, which is cost. really smart because so it it's doable. So it ended up being you know, crazy with, I mean, 15, 20 people. I don't know how many people are going to be here. Yeah. Uh, but anyway... Sports. I love going to like basketball games and stuff. It is fun. We're not big sports people, but it is fun to enjoy. Going to live games though? That's Whoa. way more fun. <laughs> All right, game's over, we lost, but it was an exciting, was an exciting last quarter. The game, you know, it's basketball. The only time that matters is like the last quarter. Uh, they just opened this new ice skating rink here. It's so cool, and I keep joking, but I'm serious. to get some dessert at the sugar factory it opened a few years ago we're gonna get some dessert and try it <laughs> <laughs> well, we're splitting it. Look at that bad boy. I ordered this for myself. This is, hold like, on, this is my hand. Jessica said, <laughs> oh my God. we're going to split it. I was like, I'll eat it by myself. And she's like, no. And it's like, it said Sundays finish. for two, buddy boy. I can still finish this easily. <laughs> now, all I wish is we also were watching The Office while eating this, and that would really send me. Also, me and PJs would be great. Yeah, in bed. <laughs> that is so good. Yeah. The we haven't even broken into that bad boy. It's like so soft. The whipped cream is perfect. It's so good. It's very good. All right, we're heading out now. I loved that ice cream. I am so glad that's what we ended up getting. It was like a, uh, it was obviously like a sundae. Um, yeah. I'm not a big Huge. whipped cream person. But I am. The, uh, I'm a whipped cream connoisseur. Yes, he loves a connoisseur. <laughs> a camera. <laughs> Uh, more making fun of uh, no, no, uh, what's that show? Uh, uh, what we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. Anyway, so good. Anyway, but, um, I loved it. I thought the ice cream was so good. <laughs> the I, cookie was hit or miss, it, and by hit or miss, I mean it was a miss. The cookie was but not the, meant to be the star of the show. Yeah. The ice cream was, and it definitely was. I think if I were to go again, because sugar factories are like everywhere. Yeah, we were, it's yeah. so much colder than it was earlier. Oh my gosh. I know. Regretting not wearing a real jacket. Anyway, yeah. um, if I were to go again. I think I would like do a milkshake because I think, the, yeah. like I said, the ice cream is probably where they shine. Probably. But this is our first time there, so, yeah, we can't, so it's hard to say. And they but. have like a full menu, but it's like way too yeah. big of a like food menu, like too many options. Although somebody next to us had a burger and it looked, <laughs> it looked pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right. I'm calling it, and I hear there's a Monument Circle in Indianapolis. Oh, come on, the lights on. Not yet. They they will do it tomorrow. Oh. Or well, no, I mean, no, the lights no, no, are no. on Friday. It's after Thanksgiving. It's after Thanksgiving, so Thursday is I was Thanksgiving. Say, why would they not the turn day on? after is when they light up the monument over there. Yeah. As a Christmas tree. So they do like a whole thing. There's like performances. It's it's really cool. Yeah. I love I love living in Indianapolis. Um anyway, all right, uh we'll call it a night here and we'll uh, pick it up another night. <laughs> We're almost yes. back to the car, thank goodness. <laughs> fancy with my red lip. Honestly, it's been on for a few hours and um, I forgot I was wearing it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make some espresso. We are hitting the point in the afternoon where we are both so tired. We've had a really productive day work-wise, both of us, um, and even household-wise. Like I got a lot of things done, which is great because we're entering, the, we're about to start packing for our trip coming up. Um, 
Anyway, but we also have some family in town. And so we've been trying, we're gonna be hanging out with them tonight. We're trying to like squeeze in time with them, but then also getting ready for our stuff. And then Thanksgiving coming up, which I know you guys are seeing this after, but still, it's just been a weird few days of, we feel like the stress bubble is just like pushing our shoulders up. So we're trying to get bits of it done each day. We'll get there. Um, and it's all good things. It's all good things. But anyway, we are both feeling tired. So I'm gonna make some espresso for myself and I'm betting Tyler will want one too. Um, but yeah, that's the haps. I'm about to get some dishes done. I already started. Get some dishes put away. And then in about 15 minutes, we're going to get all packed up. And we're going to go to a Christmas event at the zoo with a lot of my family. And I'm really excited. And my brother and sister-in-law are in town. And we're very excited to see them too. So... I'm starting today. I actually wanted to start last week, but here we are, <laughs> life gets in the way. I'm gonna start renovating the garage at our workspace. Now, I know it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to a lot of people to start with this. It seems like this is a very low priority, but I'm starting with it for a couple reasons. One, it should only, knock on wood, <laughs> take me a couple days to get done. So that'll be good. Two, this is where, as I do bathroom renovations and I start working on the podcast room, I start doing all these other things, this will probably be where a lot of the staging for that kind of stuff happens. If I have my tools out here, all that kind of stuff. So it'd be nice to have it cleaned and painted and all that kind of stuff. So it'll be nice to work out here while I'm working on stuff inside. Um, so this is really the first big project area I'm working on. Um, and third, it'll be a lot easier to do it now because there's really nothing in here. There's a few things I'll show you, but there's not really anything in here now. And I mean, everybody knows how garages get, they just get filled up over time and that kind of stuff. So. Right now, there's nothing in here. Be pr pretty quick and easy to get it all done. I'm not doing too awful much to it either. It really is in pretty good shape. It's it's a little dirty. It needs you know a little bit of a, a you know needs a little needs a little help, a little TLC. But overall, not in bad shape. So I'm gonna very quickly kind of give you an overview of my plans here because uh, I tend to repeat myself in these kind of videos because I I film them over several days and I forget what I've said in the past. So I'm gonna do a very quick overview of my plans here and then we'll start tackling some of these. So the very quick Cliff Notes version of what my plans are in here. I'm going to repaint. I haven't decided if I'm gonna paint the ceiling yet. There's a few spots that could use a little touch up, but it's really not in bad shape. Also it's textured, which I feel like is not a very common thing in uh, garages. At some point somebody painted it because it's not just you know straight up drywall, but it's, it's definitely uh, seen some wear and tear over the years. So I'm going to paint the walls white. I'm going to paint the pegboard as well. I did the same thing. So it's, it's actually nice. It already has all this pegboard in here. There's some here and there's some over there. So this is what I did in my garage. I'm going to paint the actual pegboard white. And then I'm going to paint the frames here black. And I think it's kind of a cool having the two-tone, the black and white. And the shelves that are already up are in pretty good shape. Um, I was kind of worried I'd have to take them all down. But they're really, I don't know who put them in, but they're pretty sturdy. So shelves, I'm gonna paint black as well, just so that they're not splintery. They just kind of gives them a nice finished look. That way it'll just sort of have a, um, a waterproofing on it as well. It'll just, it'll, they'll last longer. They won't rot and stuff like that as easily. So gonna get that done. First thing I need to do is clear all this stuff out. I've already brought some tools and stuff over and some other random project things that I've already started working on. So that's really the first thing. I'm gonna paint all the walls. I'm gonna paint the floor. Now, obviously somebody at some point painted the floor in here, however, they didn't use the right kind of paint. It's actually, I found the paint. They used deck painting uh, instead of uh, garage floor paint. They actually sell garage floor paint. And I think that's partly at least why there's so many spots here where the tires 
have hit, and obviously then it, it got pulled away. So they make specific, I think because the tires, your tires will get hot when they're driving, and then you pull them in here, and then it just, I think the paint got messed up. So they use deck painting instead of real garage floor paint. So I'm gonna paint the floor. Obviously everything just needs a good cleaning too. So I've got my leaf blower, I'm gonna get all these leaves out. I'm gonna, it actually, one cool thing, they actually have a hose bib out here. I, that's so cool. I think that was a genius thing to add. I wish my garage, <laughs> this, that was, that's so smart. So I can actually hose this out. I can clean this whole garage out, which will be very nice. Then I'm gonna upgrade the lighting. I bought these two lights at Costco. So those will be nice. I'll get some more light in here. They do have these like fluorescent lights, but they're just not very bright. And if I'm gonna be doing stuff in here, it's just nice to have it. And these were such a good deal. I think they were like, I don't remember exactly. I think they were like 25 bucks each and they have three different directions. It's really cool. I'll show you those later, but I'm gonna upgrade the lighting in here. And then the last thing is along this wall, they've already got one shelf here that they left and they, I'm going to put some shelves in here. I think this is where we're gonna, we're planning to store like our holiday totes and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna put those here, which is great to have those out of the way at home. So those shelves are gonna go along here and I think that's about it. Oh, and then one more thing. I'm gonna put a couple bike hooks. There's one there. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that one or switch it out, but I'm gonna put a couple bike hooks here. So if we ride our bikes here, we can uh, pull them in and then hang them up over here, which will also be very nice to have. So like I said, pretty straightforward. None of it's gonna to be too difficult. It's just, you know, getting it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cleaning this stuff out of here. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it all in the meantime, but I've gotta get rid of these boxes over here. I've got them listed online. So hopefully those will be out of here pretty quickly. And I've got all our packing materials and all that kind of stuff. I have to take this TV to the Tox drop and have it recycled. And then I think that's it. That's the one that the, the, the whole screen is cracked and broken. So got to take that in and I think that's it. And then we'll get started on some of the other stuff. I think the first thing I'm going to do is get the lighting done because that's going to be the easiest thing to get done. And then when I'm painting and doing everything else, I'll have nice, good light. So that's the first step, cleaning, and then we're gonna start on the lights. Okay, we're at Target. Uh, it is like we got out early in the morning because um, we needed a few things for like Thanksgiving that we needed to make, a few things before our trip. It's been chaotic. And of course we got this super cool giant cart that's a huge pain in the butt to uh, maneuver around the store. And we got one kid here, <laughs> one kid there. Really glad we got the big cart. <laughs> All right, we somehow made it home in one piece. Nana's here Lissy's too. cut your bag. She's just playing. That's fine. Got you. Mommy's um, bag. Um, so just a quick little haul. It is the most random grouping of things. We got some rolls for um, Thanksgiving, a fruit tree for Thanksgiving. We were just talking and I feel like we signed up for fruit salad, but I feel like every time fruit salad is made, there's a lot of fruit salad left. So I'm like. I love fruit salad, but I think yeah. I might be in the minority here. I like it too, but I wouldn't miss it if it weren't there. And I feel like the kids are more likely to eat fruit than fruit sauce. So anyway, yep. we made the executive decision to get fruit tray and Hawaiian rolls, which is young. Got some food. We can mix in Pinocchio's dry food. Um, we needed some just standard, oh, there's a pacifier. We needed just some standard gloves. These were like, I could not find these. I just swear, classic like knit yeah. gloves. Classic gloves. Um, we got some snacks for the plane, some bars, some little yogurt bites, some applesauce and packets. We'll bring some of those. Genevieve got some new shoes. Look at these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Wow. Very cool. Wow. Um, Felicity got this little guy that plays. We're going to bring it like on the trip with us. And it vibrates. Aww. She was loving it in the store. Yeah. Um, we got some vitamins. Tyler needed some like ritual men's multivitamin. Diaper cream, just some That's travel things. Yeah. I got a new light uh, timer for outside because the one I had two and one of them is broken. So I got to do that. Uh, I got some new net, for net double lights. Eggs. Oh, you got net lights. Yeah. Yay. For outside. Yeah. We had some that were out. And... Yeah. These are just nice. Like for yeah. those bushes to just be able to. And then I mean, I've never dive. done it. You always have, but I have to imagine it's just easier. <laughs> um, oh, I got new sunnies. What do you guys think? I don't think Tyler loves them. They're trendy and cute. No, I okay. like them. I was just laughing because you already have 48 pairs of sunglasses. Yeah, well, <laughs> they're all broken. <laughs> oh. But you know that... how, like, after a while they get, like, crooked and you're like, great. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Yeah. And Ooh. also eggs because we're making deviled eggs. Yes. Diapers. I'm so excited. It was, it was a kerfuffle, but we did it. We did it. We were joking on the yeah. way there. We were like, oh, we'll, we'll, we'll vlog at Target. That'll be fun kind of to add into this day of Vlogmas. I think we filmed... 28 seconds, seconds there so yeah cool. they're like it's just it's so hard with two young kids and they're both wanting to run around and like whoo it's, it's it's not easy to vlog with two young kids so we're like all right we'll find our groove here we <laughs> doing vlogmas but it's uh it was 
tougher than we thought to vlog at Target. Yes. Okay, so uh, hey, we're going to a Chris Kindle market, which we like to do every year. And look who just happens to be here from California. Hello. All the way yeah. from San Diego. Yeah, we walked. It took forever. <laughs> it took a while, but uh, obviously Michael grew up here. So you've been to the Chris Kindle market a couple times, right? Yeah, we went. I think this is Jessica's once. brother, for yeah. those of you who don't know. This I is Jessica's brother, Michael, and his wife, Cher. Yeah, I think it's only our second time here. We came with you guys a couple a couple years ago. Yeah? Yeah, we it's love fun. it. It's fun. It's fun. If nothing else, I mean, the, the lights are gorgeous, but then also they have glue vine, which is the warm oh, wine. Come for the lights, stay for the glue vine. Your aunt and uncle are here. Your parents are here. My mom's here. There's Blue Nana. So we've got a... It's we've got the a Apple Dumpling Gang, and we're here to have fun. There's like so, 13 like, of us. <laughs> Let's go. All right, we got our glue vine. They always have a souvenir mug, and this year it's pink. That's fun. Uh, we also were talking to them. They have a baked apple. They have a normal red mold yeah, glue vine, and then they have a baked apple one this year. And they said that both of them are actually made in Germany. So that's kind of cool that they have the actual German German here. I think here. they keep it hot all the way from there to here. I don't know, man. It's impressive it's though. Just keep a burner. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have this little uh, Indiana Historical Society thing here. That uh, they've got all the, like they were talking about Kurt Vonnegut over there, an uh, Indiana writer. Um, wrote, uh, what all did he write? Bluebeard. He wrote um, Slaughterhouse Five, several books that you might have heard of. Um, but he's an Indiana guy. We have a big old mural of him downtown as well. And uh, then you're talking about like uh, 10 American Christmas traditions you didn't know were German. And all, I don't know, it's really cool. All kinds of historical stuff here. And of course, Michael is Mr. History over there. So he's loving this. Oh, they even have like, hold on, let me show you. Some German Christmas carols here talking about. I love that. What is this, Michael? This is potato spiral. Is it you pronounce it? There's a lot of S's and a lot of U's. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Uh, um, okay. Uh, Where do we start? <laughs> Vlogmas day one over. We wow. are literally sitting on the floor finishing up packing mm -hmm. for our trip because we it's almost 8 p.m. now and our Actually, alarms. I think it's like 8 15. Oh I boy. Know. Our I know. alarms are going off at 2 a.m. So we need to we wrap need to, this up. Do that math. Um, yeah, we're, we're just about done. We're going to like literally zip up suitcases. I'm going to weigh yeah. them, make sure. Um, undoubtedly they're all overweight, so then we'll have to shuffle. Um, but as we said, we're going to Disney tomorrow, mm -hmm. but tomorrow for you guys will be December 2nd, December 1st, but it'll be December 2nd. We're confusing people. I think this is confusing. No, to, this is going live on December 1st. So tomorrow for these people will be December 2nd. You guys tomorrow, it will be December 2nd, but we will be filming a day ahead of time. So it'll be our December 1st. Yeah. I've confusing. confused myself. You it guys. gets confusing. Anyway, um, there'll be a lot of videos coming out, so just don't yes. worry about what day it is. Yeah, <laughs> just don't <laughs> think too hard about it. After this video, it'll all be normal. Yeah, and we've overexplained it again. What's funny though is I'm like, okay, so we have like six days in Disney, so we'll be filming each day we're there. Then we have all of Vlogmas, and then after that, we're going on another trip. And so I'm like, man, we're gonna be filming for like two months straight <laughs> every day. It's going to be a lot. When you put it like that, it makes you want to quit before we <laughs> no, even man. started. Let's just go, man. Like, I feel like, all right, I'm ready. Let's go. It's a lot. We can do it. Anyway, we do love you guys. Thank you so much for watching all of our day one, even though it was kind of weird. Hodgepodge, for day random. Two. Yeah. It'll be a lot it more begins. normal vlogs from here on out. Yes. <laughs> I, was, I was kind of piecing this all together the other day. And I was like, this, okay, we didn't really talk about that. Okay, well, we, no, we just kind of skipped over that. Too. That's okay. Just forget it. So. <laughs> Normal vlogs from here on out. <laughs> there will be a through line from here on out, yeah. we promise. Anyway, we right. love you guys. Thanks for watching day one. I hope to see you guys on day two. Yes. Oh, if you watch us all the way to the end, put, 
I've been doing this lately. Ooh. Um, put five, exactly five Christmas tree emojis in the comment. And we'll know you're the real deal. You watch all the way to the end of this mess. <laughs> anyway. Awesome. All right. All right. Well, welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Yeah. Let's go.